It's not a fruit of this world. You learn the name of the fruit when you gain its power, but it's a gamble as to what kind of power you'll gain. If by chance you get a strange power, then your life is ruined. Lots of sailors have lost their lives searching for just one devil fruit. But let me tell you one more thing. Even I don't know what kind of devil lives inside them. Hello and welcome to One Piece 101, the series that breaks down everyone and everything in the One Piece world. Today, we are going to be exploring the cornerstone feature of the series, Devil Fruits. Devil Fruits are rare, mysterious, edible objects found all throughout the world of One Piece. Their origins are completely unknown at this stage, however they appear in the shapes of simple fruits and are immediately identifiable through their uniquely detailed swirly patterning. They can also be characterized by their infamously horrendous taste, although if you've gotten this far in the process before realizing it was a Devil Fruit, then it's probably too late to be questioning your life's choices. The most important aspect of a Devil Fruit is the fact that once someone or something consumes even a small piece of it, that person or object immediately gains a strange ability that affects their body. However, in exchange, they lose the ability to swim and essentially become anchors after being submerged in at least knee-deep water. And that probably doesn't sound too bad out of context, but you need to remember that with the exception of the red line, the entirety of the One Piece world is comprised of islands. And unless you want to spend the rest of your life on a single island, you have the potential to be traveling by water rather frequently, thus undertaking a significant life-threatening risk during every voyage. However, depending on the power you receive from the fruit in question, that may still seem like an alright deal. So let's examine exactly what kind of effects can result from consumption. Devil fruits can be broadly classified into three types. The first and most common of which is the Paramecia class. A Paramecia type devil fruit will generally allow the user to manipulate their body, their environment, or even produce substances. For example, Luffy's devil fruit, the Gomu Gomu no Mi, is a Paramecia type that turned his body into rubber, allowing him to stretch and use all of the amazing abilities he has concocted since its consumption. In terms of manipulating the environment, there is no better example than the Gora Gora no Mi, originally held by Edward Newgate. This fruit allowed him to create immensely powerful shockwaves that could result in all sorts of natural disasters such as earthquakes and tsunamis. Meanwhile, the fruit abilities of Galdino and Magellan are fine examples of substance production, as these two are able to create wax and poison respectively. However, the Paramecia class isn't quite as simple as that, because there are a lot of strangely unique fruits in the series that don't technically fit into one of the three classes, however they are considered a Paramecia regardless. To illustrate, Brook ate a fruit known as the Yomi Yomi no Mi, which has the effect of enhancing a user's soul to the point where they are able to resurrect themselves once after death. Although the soul does need to find a body to make best use of this ability. But you get the picture, the Paramecia class is full of odd exceptions. In fact, the Paramecia class is the only one to grant powers or special traits that may be considered useless by the particular individual. A great example of this is Luffy's Gomu Gomu no Mi. It was originally quite pointless, and it wasn't until Luffy had trained for his entire childhood and gained the strength necessary that his powers were able to be used effectively. Finally, there is even a subclass within the Paramecia world, known as a Special Paramecia. The exact details of this type of fruit haven't been adequately explored yet, but Charlotte Katakuri's fruit, the Mochi Mochi no Mi, is considered to be one of them. This is because, despite being a Paramecia, Katakuri exhibits certain traits that are found in Logia type fruits, which we'll get into. However, I would be remiss if I did not point out that Charlotte Katakuri's devil fruit was originally introduced as a Logia type in the manga and later changed to a special Paramecia, meaning that this whole subclass is quite possibly the result of one huge retcon. But moving on, the second most common kind of devil fruit to be found is the Zoan type. This one is fairly straightforward, at least to begin with, as it grants the user the power to transform into a type of animal. Zoan fruits can even be quite a specific species, meaning that a model is more often than not added into the fruit's name. For example, the characters Chaka and Jabra both possess an incarnation of the Inu Inu no Mi, Inu meaning dog in Japanese. However, Chaka's fruit is the Inu Inu no Mi model jackal, while Jabra's is the Inu Inu no Mi model wolf. A Zoan user initially receives three types of transformations, which are their human form, their beast form, and their hybrid form. With that said, additional transformations are available through expanded forms of bodily manipulation, the greatest case in point being Tony Tony Chopper. Via the use of a specially developed drug known as the Rumble Ball, Chopper is able to use additional transformations to focus on one particular aspect of his fusion between reindeer and human. The Zoan branch of Devil Fruits also happens to be the one with the most subclasses. The first of which is a Carnivorous Zoan. As the name implies, these fruits allow the user to transform into a carnivorous animal, such as Rob Lucci's Neko Neko no Mi model leopard. These fruits have the additional effect of granting the user a predatory nature, and generally makes them more bloodthirsty, aggressive, and all around better suited for use in combat. Then we go a step rarer with the existence of 
Ancient Zoans. Consuming one of these fruits will give the user the ability to wield characteristics of an ancient or extinct animal. The first example of which we ever saw was X Drake, who was able to transform into a Tyrannosaurus Rex. However, we have also since seen one other in the form of Jack, who was able to transform into a mammoth. In both cases, these fruits displayed far greater size and much more destructive power than most average Zoan users. But you know what? We can even take things a step further by introducing the concept of mythical Zoans. These fruits are extraordinarily rare, more so than even Logia types, which I promise we'll get to, and allows the user to transform into a mythical creature, which may have unique and special abilities associated with the creature itself. One representation of this subclass can be found in Marco, who ate a mythical devil fruit that allows him to turn into a blue phoenix. Furthermore, it grants him the special ability of healing flames, which allows Marco to regenerate seemingly infinitely. Then there's also Sengoku, who consumed the Hito Hito no Mi model Daibutsu, which quite simply allows the user to transform into a Daibutsu, meaning giant Buddha, and also appears to grant them the ability to produce incredibly destructive shockwaves. And finally, just before we leave the Zoan realm, it needs to be noted that these types of devil fruits are able to interact with objects in order to become entirely new beings. While the exact details of how this is done is currently unknown, we have seen a couple of examples of the results. The first of which is Lasu, who is a gun who quote unquote ate the Inu Inu no Mi model Dachshund, turning him into a dog gun. Similarly, Spandam Sword Funkfried is a sword that had the powers of the Zozo no Mi inserted into it, turning it into an elephant sword. Now we are going to move on to the third and generally rarest type of devil fruits, the Logia class. These fruits are characterized by the user being able to conjure, manipulate, and become a natural element. These fruits are particularly powerful because they generally grant the user intangibility, making themselves essentially invincible to inexperienced combatants. Although these fruits also come with their weaknesses, which is usually in the form of the weakness of the element itself. This can be seen clearly during Luffy's fight against Sir Crocodile, who possessed the Suna Suna no Mi, a sand Logia. And just as liquid binds sand together, Crocodile was unable to become sand upon getting wet, thus allowing Luffy to punch him many, 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 many times. In addition to this, Logia users can also be rendered tangible through the use of armament haki, which is a commonly harnessed technique in the new world. This means that Logia users who overly rely on their natural fruit powers can find themselves becoming very easily defeated. There are currently no subclasses within the Logia family, however it is worth noting that the Goro Goro no Mi, a lightning Logia, is the only fruit in the series thus far that has said to be invincible and unrivaled. No other Logia or devil fruit in general has ever been referred to in this way, speaking to the raw power of this particular Logia. And with that, we have covered the three basic classes of Devil Fruit, but I'm afraid the world of Devil Fruits goes a bit deeper than that. In addition to the initial powers granted, a Devil Fruit is also capable of achieving an awakening. Just like the Devil Fruits themselves, details on the origin or mechanisms of awakening are unknown, but it results in enhanced abilities depending on the basic class of the fruit. In regards to the Zoan class, an awakening results in a new gigantic form with significantly increased strength, stamina, and durability. The very first time we saw an awakened Zoan was during the Ennis Lobby arc, when Chopper consumed one too many rumble balls and forced his awakened form to appear. Although it needs to be noted that Chopper had no control of himself at this time. However, in other cases, including Chopper post time skip, awakened Zoan users have had full control of their newfound power. In the case of a Paramecia, an awakened Devil Fruit user is able to extend their bodily powers to transform the environment surrounding them. This was displayed during Dress Rosa when Doflamingo used his Ito Ito no Mi to turn select portions of the landscape into strings. The only other confirmed canon awakened Paramecia belongs to. Charlotte Katakuri, who has been shown transforming the floor of the mirror world into Mochi. In both cases, these powers proved devastating as they gave the user complete terrain advantage, as well as extended avenues of attack. As for our old friend Logias, there are no confirmed awakened Logia users just yet, nor is it currently known if this class can awaken at all. Due to the wide variety of devil fruits in existence, some fruits display powers that are exceptionally similar to another fruit in the series, and in some case constitute a clearly superior and inferior order. For example, there is a devil fruit known as the Kilo Kilo no Mi, currently held by Miss Valentine, which allows her to increase and decrease her weight based on kilo amount. However, there is also a Ton Ton fruit, currently held by Mark Weiss, that can do the exact same thing, except by the ton, rather than the kilo, resulting in a far more devastating power, thus making it a flat out superior fruit. With that said, that doesn't make the holder of the superior fruit automatically more successful in combat than the holder of the lesser fruit. Devil fruits are a very unique device within the world of Shonen manga, because exactly how powerful they can 
can be, is almost entirely determined by the user. Someone who works hard and thinks creatively about how to use their devil fruit should almost always triumph against devil fruit users who get lazy and content with what they can do. Finally, we need to discuss the existence of artificial devil fruits. These first came to light via the research of the mysterious Dr. Vegapunk, who has been known to have created an artificial devil fruit that is considered to be a failure. This fruit was eaten by Momonosuke, and results in him having the ability to transform into a dragon, making it a Zoan type or even a mythical Zoan type. Currently, it is unknown why this fruit was considered to be a failure, as all the flaws associated with it can be attributed to Momonosuke's age and inexperience with his abilities. However, based on Vegapunk's research, Caesar Clown, in partnership with Don Quixote Doflamingo, created their own series of artificial devil fruits known as Smiles. Like Vegapunk's experiment, all of these fruits so far fall under the Zoan category, although they are remarkably different from natural Zoans. Smile users don't appear to be able to fully transform into a creature, but rather transform portions of their bodies into other parts of animals. This is particularly bizarre because natural Zoan users can only transform their body into the corresponding parts of an animal's body. But a Smile user such as Sheep's Head can turn his hands into the horns of a sheep. It is currently unknown if this is the full extent of their abilities or if they can achieve a complete transformation. In any case, artificial devil fruits are easily identified by the fact that they all have cheap looking circle patterns rather than the classic amazing swirls of OG devil fruits. Now with all of these crazy devil fruits in existence, you may or may not be wondering what simply stops one individual from consuming and acquiring multiple powers. And the simple answer to that is death. It has been stated that should a person attempt to eat two devil fruits, their body will destroy itself, although this has never been seen in the series. Furthermore, there is one very, very notable exception to this rule, and that is the character Blackbeard, who by some unknown means was able to extract the power of the Guru Guru no Mi whilst holding the Yami Yami no Mi resulting in him becoming the first person in the series and possibly the history of the One Piece world to hold two Devil Fruit powers at once. It should be stated that this is quite possibly a result of the Yami Yami no Mi itself. This fruit is a Logia type, which amongst other amazing abilities, allows its user to completely nullify other Devil Fruit abilities. Speaking of nullifying other Devil Fruits, we previously discussed that Armam and Haki has the ability to render Logia type users tangible. But there is one more substance in existence that is the bane of most Devil Fruit users, which is Stone. This is a naturally occurring rock that contains the properties of the sea, which is able to be used in a wide variety of ways to effectively fight against devil fruit users. For example, a pair of sea stone handcuffs will render an individual incapable of using their powers, but the substance has also been used to build weapons. Some more fun facts about devil fruits. While a devil fruit encyclopedia does exist, very few of the fruits within this book have illustrations, meaning that most devil fruits hold a complete mystery as to which power a consumer will receive. The name Zoan for that particular type of devil fruit likely comes from zoanthropy, a term that refers to the metamorphosis of humans into animals. While no two of the same type of devil fruit can exist simultaneously, a devil fruit will be reborn back into the world once their consumers die. In the first two pilots of One Piece, Luffy's devil fruit ability was the only one in existence, and the fruit came from the Gomu Gomu tree that only grew every 50 years. Due to their rarity, devil fruits can be sold for incredibly high prices that range from over 100 million berries up to 5 billion berries depending on the particular power. In an SBS question, a reader asked if he would receive Luffy's Gomu Gomu no Mi powers by eating Luffy. Oda answered no, and said that he would get food poisoning instead. However, during Big Mom's flashback, it was heavily implied that Lin Lin was able to obtain Mother Caramel's devil fruit power by eating her. And finally, a truly useless fact, Yes, devil fruits affect penises. That means that Luffy's can stretch, Bellamy's can spring, Buggies can be chopped off, Mr. One's can become a sword, Whitebeard's can cause shockwaves, Gladius's can explode, and of course Scratch Manapoo can play his like a clarinet. And that pretty much does it for Devil Fruits. I've probably missed some things here and there because there is a hell of a lot to know about these not so delicious objects, but that is the basic rundown. If you enjoyed this video, then feel free to like, favorite, or subscribe. And if you're keen on supporting independent creators, then also feel free to check out my Patreon, Discord server, or Twitter, the links to which are in the handy description below. Finally, please do let me know who, what, or where you'd like to see featured in the next One Piece 101.